said, I want what he got. <laughs> Amen. 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 That happened in the mountains. Amen. In the mountains. In the mountains where God dwells. Amen. My God said, you don't mind going back to the place where he was and didn't know the address. They come out one night and the fellow held a gun on in front of his headlights and told him to put his keys and his money in the car seat. And, and Mike said, well, can I read the Bible just a minute? And he said, I want to hit all the way down one of the highest falls. He parted his fire right in the middle. No old Mike said he got down in front of the headlights and was reading John 3, 16. And he said, I got happy. And when I got done, that fellow was gone. My keys still in the seat. My money still in the seat. He hadn't took nothing. <laughs> Amen. You think about who are you trusting? Right. Who are we trusting? Who are we leaning on? Amen. It ain't never bothered me that somebody told me the other day when I found out I had the shingles. They said, you know when things get all the way around you, you'll die. And I said, it's a good day to die. Yeah. I'm ready. Paul said to die be gained, didn't he? Amen. Right. Bible says in Hebrews chapter 11, Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen, for by it elders obtained a good report. Through faith we understand that the words were framed by the word of God, so the things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. Threefold of God's message. In the beginning, they listen to the voice of God from heaven. Amen. With Jesus come through Mary into this life and lived 33 and a half years and gave his life. They followed him by sight. Yes. Are you still with me? Amen. Now, that Jesus said it's expedient that I go away. Yep. If I don't go, the comfort won't come. But if I go, I'll pray the Father. And he'll send you another comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, which teaches and leads you and guides you to all truths. And you can follow him then by faith. Amen. Come on now, amen. 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 Where's your faith at? I told the doctor Winston and went to him. I said, I still hurt like I did, but I said, I don't let it bother me, doctor. I'll read my Bible and pray and have me a good time in the Lord. And I uh, enjoy God's blessing. And he told me some kind of name. He said, you are one in a million that's got a system in your body to resist pain. I said, and I can tell you what that part of it is. He said, what? I said, God Almighty. Amen. Have faith. Where's your faith at? I got faith when I leave here at that old car out there at Frank. It may not hit a lick, but I've got faith that it will. But I'm not worried, Brother Tim Smith. If it don't crank, I believe I've got enough friends here to take me home. Whoa! Glory to God, amen. Preaching on a holler like that, you scared me. Wouldn't hurt some of you dry Baptists to holler. <laughs> now, faith is a substance. We see Tim Bristol things around you all day long. Amen. You see uh, the trees and you see the water, lakes, and all of that. But that wasn't anything consistent of what our faith comes from. Right. Jesus Christ is the one faith in Christ. This day is important that we can have faith in Him. Amen. Faith is something to hope for the evidence of things I think, but yet it appears. Come on now. How many of you got faith when you get hungry that God's got to feed you? Amen. I told the guy here a while back and he looked at me like I was crazy. I said, I believe there ain't but one bologna sandwich in Burke County. I'll get a bite of it. Because God ain't never lied, Brother Clyde. Amen. Amen. He's always done what he said he would. Amen. Well, he said for the elders 
obtain a good report. And everyone you might obtain a good report, and you can retain and retain a good report, and you can have a good name, you can have a good address. Everybody thank the world of you, but how much do you love God? Yes. Amen. Jesus said, I gave my life that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Amen. Jesus said, I died that you can live. Amen. You think about it. Oh, preacher, what are you talking about? The fellow told me you were all back. He said, I, I believe we're just like an old cow. We die, we're gone. I said, you and a cow may be, but I'm going to be in heaven. Amen. Amen. Yeah, praise God. Amen. 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 No, I believe I'm more than a cow. Like Tim Bristol was talking the other night, was down there talking about the Bible. He said, you know, that's when Jesus come in and got rid of all the bull and ox and all that stuff, and now you have to come through and buy the blood of Jesus. <laughs> Woo! Amen! Thank God, it's through his blood, amen, that we're saved. Through, through faith, by grace, not, not of ourselves. Or anything we can boast of, but it's the power of God. Amen. Amen. Jesus loves us. Amen. Yeah, there's a preacher told me a while back, said, I can't get in the pulpit and holler like you do. I said, that ain't my fault. Right. Big Clyde blessed us, Lord, amen, this morning. He was about to pray up here. I thought we were going to get raptured. Yes. He believes what he's doing. So, Tim, I believe that. He loves the Lord. Well, how come I can't do it? Because you don't practice it. Amen. Amen. You know what? Big Clyde do that this thing on the street of Morton. With the king. <laughs> Amen. I was talking to a guy the other day, brother. Doug. About, and a lot of people don't know him. But the, the doctor, the horse to the hills. He took them big clothes and took them all to the mountains and everything. I've been, I hauled a tent around for him and I drove a truck and set it up and I've been in his home and he's with him. The old man loved God. He was on the street of Morgan one day up there. He said, old sledgehammer Charlie's come to, to Morgan and he is a preacher. And this little old smart Alec deputy had got fired right quick after that. Got him with the arm and twisted it and made him drop his Bible. Took him down to the courthouse. And I went down there and see what was going on. And here comes the sheriff in. And he said, what's going on? I said, they ain't going to twist him about his arm up down there. That little cop over there arrested him for disturbing the peace. And he was preaching the word of God. He said, well, I'm getting out of here. Now, this happened. Whether you won't believe it or not, it happened. He said, I'm getting out of here. So one of the dead said, where are you going, sir? He said, there's 400 out there praying for God to sink his place. Amen. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, they used to be Pirenburg County, right. didn't brother. Right. Amen. Hallelujah to God, the old man loved God. Amen. But he said, now listen. He said, uh, and uh, he went back up there and picked up his Bible and said, Old Sledgehammer Charlie's going to finish it. <laughs> That's what I call by faith through grace, not in yourself, but through the power of God, doing where the devil likes it or not. Amen. 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 Well, glory to God, he said, through faith we understand that the world's were framed by the Word of God. It was. Mm -hmm. God spoke it in the resistance. The Word. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I preached here Wednesday night a message on the Trinity of God. Amen. And uh, Lance came up to me and said, Man, a man said, You went down deep water. And did you realize, and you study the Bible all you want to, that Adam and Eve wasn't made like out here. They were made in the paradise of God before sin ever came into the world. Right. Amen. Woo, people who are studying the Bible, that's what the Bible said, no. Amen. And uh, Adam didn't know that she had listened to the devil. And then he, I can just about see her, a lot of people don't believe me, but I can just about see If you'll eat of this fruit, you can see me as I see you. And when he did, he ran to get behind some trees, and the voice of God came down that evening and said, Adam, where are you? He said, we're naked, and we're here. He said, who told you you was naked? Yeah, Did you know who told you, sitting on that bank the night you come to get saved? Spirit of God spoke to you and said, you're naked, and you need to be dressed up in the Spirit of God. Amen. Amen. And I said this Wednesday night. 
sperm, they say, is what brings down in between the woman and man brings a child. Well, when they search through heaven, wander through heaven, and talk through heaven about somebody, Jesus said he'd go. And God, through the sperm of the Spirit, placed it in Mary. And she became pregnant. Never slept with a man, knew a man, and brought forth a beloved Son of God. For our He's wonderful, counselor, the great God Almighty, the Prince of Peace, the Lily of the Valley, the Rose of the Share. He is, he that was, and is to come again, the everlasting Father. Woo! Now I said it, some of you might need to know that. Only part of God has ever seen in man's humanity life. When Moses is hid behind the rock and he passed by and he seen his hinder parts, no man can see God face to face and live. Right. Now let's find her together, Baptist. The Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost. Jesus could look upon him, look, Brother Arnold, he could see him. We may not, I can see the Spirit in Brother Clyde doing what he done this morning. I see the Spirit in Tim teaching this morning. I can see all of that. But I want you to know one thing. Jesus was the only one that could look on his face. Right. And the Bible said this, and I love it because I've been studying all week on the Trinity. Jesus said, if you've seen me, You've seen the Father. Because I'm not preaching a mixed up message this morning. I don't believe you can be saved today. And I don't believe you can get the Holy Ghost next week. And I don't believe you can go get all this. I believe when you come humble before God, you get the whole dose at one time. Amen. Amen. Woo! Amen. 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 Preacher, I thought I'd been saved. Well, you ain't but one time lesson. You can't be born but one time in the flesh. And you can't be born but one time in the spirit. You might have to do a whole lot of repenting. You might have to do a whole lot of crying. A whole lot of begging. But boy, I'll tell you, it's worth it all. I don't know about you, but I told this church the last month, I guess, a half dozen times. On Sunday morning, I tried to slip out at 6.30 and get down and get me and my wife for biscuits so we can get ready and get on over here. And Louise said, you yeah, know, always there early. Thank you, honey. I'm glad she gets up and comes with me because I love to get here. Amen. But every morning, Clyde and I will drive down the road. And it wouldn't hurt, Brother Clyde, for everybody to take inventory of their salvation. Right. Right. I asked God about the time we get out there, Tim, the way he turns from the gas. Lord, thank you for this beautiful day. And God, if I ain't saved, would you save me? Hey man, I want to be sure when I stand there that I hear him say, well done. Hey man, thy good and faithful servant, you've been faithful over a few things. Won't you enjoy the blessed Lord? Oh, preacher, it's impossible. Luke 8, 27 said, all things are possible through Jesus Christ. Preacher, I'm too tired to come to church. Matthew 11, 28 and 30 said, I'll give you rest. Amen. You know what I'm saying? If you'll come to me, I like that song the same. Come unto me, all you weary and heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. Yes, Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. Yes. Trust me. Find out if I won't do what I said. Praise the name of God. I was uh, thinking as we come over here this morning. Had it on my mind. Buddy Fisher, and I went to school with his uh, overtrained lad, boy, 41 year old, yesterday morning, dead, died. Good young man, love the Lord. He liked me, and me and him got along. And I went up there one day to get a piece steel screen to put over my thing on the back of my camper. His daddy told him, said, Now, son, that stuff's $90. Chic. He said, yeah, Daddy, but I'm going to get a whole sheet back there and cut the preacher a piece out to fit his camper. He said, we'll sell uh, this, but I'm going to make it to him for $20. You say, preacher, what are you saying? I'm saying, he loved me as a preacher. 
And he wanted to help me. He said, Daddy, we can sell the rest. If we don't, Daddy, I'm going to help him anyhow. You know, let me tell you something. You don't bank yourself on that you're the only person in this world. You don't base your life on that you're the only Christian they are. I've heard people say, I'm a better Christian than you are. Well, I hope you are, but you're going you're gonna to have to do a lot of praying to get the holler like I do. So, amen. I like the holler. The Bible said now, uh, nobody really loves me. Oh, has anybody ever had to sit and talk to yourself, you old purple of pride, and sitting around and afraid something's going to happen and you ain't going to be the one to get it all? Well, uh, nobody really loves me. But Mick Shook, he said over in John 3, 16 and John 13 and 34, I love you. Amen. Yeah. Hey, hey. <laughs> well, glory to God. Y'all give me the message. I'm going to preach. Oh, well, preacher, I can't go on. I just ain't no way I can go on. Well, he said over in 2 Corinthians 12 and 9 and Psalm 91, 15, my grace is sufficient. Yes, Amen. 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 When you think you went the last mile, like my son-in-law here and some of the other people in here, uh, Miss April, when her husband made it right with God and Tim got in the church and all and going to live for the Lord, the devil will tear up everything you got. Yes. The youngest got sick, he has equipment went to breaking down. He said, well, just go over there and wash it out, fix it, and oil. Stayed nearly all night putting the rear end in. Well, why couldn't he wear tomorrow? Let me tell you something. Don't put off tomorrow what you can do today. Come on, amen. Well, I'll just go a couple more if you don't mind. I can't figure things out, so we're saying. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 said, I will direct your steps. Yeah. We don't have to bank on ourselves, do we? Yeah. Amen. Now listen to what he said. I'm not able, preacher. Philippians 4 and 13. You can do all things through Christ Jesus, Paul said. Yeah. Yeah. Let me tell you something. Ain't nobody in here that's got a problem that God can't handle. Well, it won't. It's not worth it. Romans eight twenty eight said it will be worth it all. It'll be worth it all. I can't forget my. I can't forgive myself. Well, it said in First uh, John one and nine, Romans eight and one. I forgive you. Amen. And I want to tell you one thing: if God forgives you. Oh, let me go on right here. I can't manage. Well, he said in Philippians 1, 4, 19, I'll supply you all you need. Right. He never said a thing in the world, church, and you hear me good. He never said a thing in the world of supplying all our wants. Right. I'll supply your needs. Amen. I am afraid, 2 Timothy 1 and 7, I have not given you a spirit of fear, well, God, he didn't put in you a uh, spirit of God to run from a devil every time you come around. That's right. And the Bible said if the good man of the house would have known when Satan would have come, he wouldn't let him break in steal what he had. Amen. Well, you're getting off quiet. Seats get plenty of people. I don't have enough faith. There we are. Romans 12 and 3, I've given everyone a measure of my faith. Aren't you glad? <clears throat> My wife said, don't pay him no attention. He sits there in the easy chair and every time I walk through the house, bring me some cocoa. <laughs> I got faith. <laughs> You're <brain. laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. I feel all along, preacher. Hebrews 13 and 5. I'll never leave you nor forsake you. Right, man. Brother Daddy Fort brings it out of Sunday school a whole lot. And I enjoy it. He that endureth to the end, the same shall be saved. You know what he's talking about? Oh, is that mine? Well, thank you. Oh, you do 28 this month. <laughs> Arm, and he said a little younger to start. <laughs> He's going to get back. God 
loves everyone else. Yes. Yes. Please come and get us a song, not true. Sure. <laughs> faith. Faith. Without faith, we can't make it. Without God, we can't make it. But we've got to have faith in Him that, to believe, Brother Doug, that He'll do what He said He'd do. Amen. I come out of love. She is having hands full of music. All of us stand while we sing. While we sing, I'm going to ask you this. I'm not going to ask you to you and close your eyes. I believe you ought to be wide awake and, and see what you're doing. You might have somebody at home. You might be somebody in the hospital. Somebody in the summer sick. You don't have to, you're not coming because you're lost every time you come to the But this altar is open and a lot of churches is closed. But as long as I'm here, it will never be closed. Amen. This is the place where we come agonize and pray to Lord Jesus Christ. Well, I always say, what you can. Just as